Hey guys, Ty over at AL in Jackson, Tennessee. I want to apologize a little bit on the front end because we're still doing construction on our new service base. And you can see the guys running through. They're making some noise, they're making a lot of changes. So apologies on the front end before I begin to talk otherwise. We want to check out today this 2024 Grand Design Imagine. This is the full Imagine with the front full fiberglass cap. And this model is a 2670 MK. Now, with this one, we're just over 32 feet in length, just over 6,800 pounds in weight. Now, considering the size to amenity, weight's not too bad, but with a grand design, they give you a little bit more structure in the floor, some other things like that that you may want to ask about while you're getting into one, just to make sure that you understand kind of what you're looking at. With this one, too, the big thing is going to be opposing slide. So, 32 feet ish you have a rear opposing slide and an island which is gigantic in its offering alone forget anything else all right guys we're going to dive in on this hopefully the construction guys aren't too bad for us this morning and i'll show it off so excuse the construction noise guys a lot of equipment behind me because we're making our service bays much more substantial so 2024 grand design imagine 2670 mk Posing slides at the back, which is pretty wild for a travel trailer of this size. Campside cannot even start without looking at this semi drop frame storage because of how big that is. You can see how finished off grand designs done with this as well. Slam latches and insulated doors, covered hinges. We have the 3000 series from Solera up top. And that is your awning. LED underneath. And for this 2024, steel speakers are in place. More ride three step. Grand Design always really does a nice aesthetic. And then for our their outdoor kitchen, because of it being the opposing slide. You have an oversized griddle. Now this one's a capital grill that will pull out further, give you double that amount depth. No slim latch on this one, which is fine. You can see how large that awning is. So even though we have a little bit of coverage on the slide itself, still have a lot up front. Water here at the back, manual jacks as well. Full walkable roof, so ladder is already pre-installed. Spare tire, of course. And then we do have tankless Furion in this particular camper. There's that second opposing slide I mentioned. Now with Grand Design, you do have some connections outside light just to help you with your sewer because all of our underbellies on these imagines are going to be heated and enclosed but all of our main connections are to the inside where it's a little bit cleaner and more kept away it is installed with tire link but this requires a module so you always want to check the inside of the camper or ask your sales rep about that module. Module runs about 130 to 150, depending on where it's at. Lights, tank heater, and it looks like we're having to swap out our solar charge controller because this does come with solar on top. 20 pound tanks up front and that fiberglass cap with lights. The nice thing about a fiberglass cap is deflection. This isn't going to be moving around when you're towing it down the road. So let's get inside. Okay, so here we go. Our 2670 MK. Now right when you first step in, you're gonna see the bathroom directly across from us, which is fine, but the whole point of this camper is to our left. Is that not wild in a camper? Roughly 32 feet to have opposing slides and an island in the center. Also right at the beginning, Tankless controls, 
all your other connections here and you can Bluetooth to this and your AC all in one spot which I appreciate. We do have a slight arch to our ceiling with that ducted AC and then directly to our left TV on a lift with fireplace beneath so if you would prefer just the view from your campsite drop that down there is a window behind it and a massive amount I mean massive amount of counter space and cabinetry top to bottom all your cabinets here nicely finished off 12 volt fridge and then desk at the back and this desk can be multi-space in my mind at least it's gonna be multi-space so if you wanted to just drop a kennel beneath dog bed extra storage and you're not going to use it as that now it's prep space coffee maker space etc because you do have 110 outlets on both sides done it with removable table obviously that makes down for extra sleeping and then theater seats if I was able to run a 110 power supply right now then you could light those seats up so they do plug into one of the outlets and then your island large sink with the pull down cabinetry underneath the only oddity with this particular camper is this wall and they put a mirror to kind of break it up but that's the only unique thing because of how the bathroom is laid out still a nice use of space I love how Grand Design usually goes all the way to the ceiling if I can with their cabinets and they'll usually double up their medicine cabinets as well things like that and then all of this being on a barn door bed at the front being a queen wardrobe around and reading lights above you can control and there's our second AC and just for good measure another or secondary wardrobe space there and then your AC here is going to be on its own switch still a place for a TV I do want to say that some of the TV backers have been a little lacking in some campers lately so just be careful guys when you're going to put a TV in by yourself there's a little bit of liability that is kind of involved there okay so a little bit more of an overview than to dive too far into construction things and that type of stuff with this particular imagine the reason being the big thing is this huge opposing slides feature at the back and you still only have a north to south with the color north to south bed in the front but with our rear being like this the space is really going to be for this particular usage you still have additional sleeping if you need it you have a ton of counter space for those that cook this is an amazing unit the construction guys outside are going to ruin all of my speech here too as we try to expand our server space your construction though on this imagine you're still aluminum frame block foam insulation you still have your tpo membrane up front heated and closed underneath and a lot of other things imagine is and i feel will be a strong competitor for many many years just at the current package and they're already making small changes as time goes on to give you guys even more value and more bang for that buck right let me know what you guys think on this I'm always curious to hear your comments. Give me a like, give me a subscribe.